Hi, Sel. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Great, great. So after this recent advent of AI, especially Gen AI, there's a lot of talk about AI. It's going to help us in pretty much everything we do. But at the same time, there are concerns that kids will not develop the analytical and mental skills through the natural education process because now AI is there to help them with everything. So in your view, uh, how would the education system would need to change to make sure that we can benefit from AI, but we don't impact the kids in negative ways? I think there's plenty of ways to mitigate the cheating aspects of AI and then use AI to support and give more feedback. And if you do that, kids will, will actually learn more. They'll get faster cycle feedback. They'll get more support. And I think there's ways to do assessment using AI that actually can assess a richer set of skills than just traditional multiple choice. So that's going to be a good thing. So as long, and I think there's going to be some scenarios, maybe for older students, where once they're in the real world, they will be able to use these tools in unfettered ways. So there might be a sense to have some projects where you do encourage use of, of this. In a, and I think as long as you have a balance, uh, I think it's as important as ever for kids to learn their traditional skills. And I, I think Gen AI has the potential to actually help them there as opposed to undermine it. Do you think there's also a need to educate people how to work with AI, not just know what Oh, is. yes, yes. There's a huge digital literacy aspect of this. And is, are you going to work on economy? We, yeah, we definitely yeah. are trying our best to help understand people how to use it, how not to use it, et cetera. I think that's, that's super important. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah thank, nice you. thank you. Thank you.